welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna pull some cards for you guys and we're gonna see what your person is feeling and thinking but not saying to you spirit what messages do you have for pisces what is the person feeling and thinking but not saying all right so we have hesitation what is pisces person feeling and thinking but not saying toxic relationship u-turn um someone that you argue with all the time pisces i feel like now this person wants to talk you guys may have had an argument with someone and now that it's been maybe a couple of days a couple of weeks or a month this person has had some time to think about things and now they want to come back towards you they may have walked away or said that they were walking away or maybe they just ignored you we have their hesitation is causing an action due to fears of rejection from you because of their previous behavior. So they don't know if the, if it's time, if the timing is right for them to reach out and say something to you. This person may know that they're the reason why you guys are going through something after they've had some time to think about things. This may be someone who doesn't like to take accountability and so you pulled back from them. And I feel like you're quiet. I don't feel like you're saying anything. I picked that energy up in your pre-shuffle. So we have resolution. You are reaching the end of a cycle or about to start a new one. The answers you seek are about to be revealed to you. Yeah, some of you are going to find out that this person still loves you. They still want you. They're not gone. They're just hesitating to reach out to you. Sure, what messages do you have for Pisces? What is their person feeling and thinking? Feeling and thinking, but not saying to them. That's what do they need to know? All right, so the universe is saying, stand your ground and you will see something magical happen. The value you put on yourself. This card is so popular. Every time I shuffle, it comes out. No matter if I'm doing um, a reading for like one of the signs or just a general reading, it comes out. So I felt the universe is um, saying that it is time for some people to stand their ground in a relationship where maybe you've been quiet, you haven't said much, you've let things go on, you know, you see it, but you're like, I don't want to keep arguing with this person because I don't want them to see me in a negative light. Well, the universe is saying now it's time to speak your mind and, and stand your ground. The value you put on yourself is the same price they will put on you. Clearly communicate your boundaries and defend what matters to you. We have communication is coming in. Don't lose hope and sit this out. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the universe is saying there's nothing that you need to do. So if you're sitting back waiting, being quiet, continue to do so. Allow this person to reach out to you. It says sit this out. Something is not quite right. Wait a little longer before taking action. So I feel like the universe is telling you that you don't need to take action. Like you may be quiet. Your person may be quiet. You have no idea what's going on in their head. They have no idea what's going on in yours. And I feel like the both of you are like, well, wait, is this, are they going to reach out to me or should I reach out to them? The universe is telling you to sit this out and allow them to reach out. Maybe you're the one that has always reached out in the past. You're stuck in limbo, filled with doubt and confusion regarding your relationship. Universe is saying break the cycle. So this is two cards that go hand in hand. You know, if you're stuck in limbo and you're wondering, should you say something? Is it time for you to send a text message or call them? The universe is saying no. <laughs> like, no, because this person knows what they did to you. They have a lot of regrets and remorse. They're feeling guilty right now. They're wanting to undo the damage. This person is thinking about you a lot, but like not saying anything. We have in their head, overthinking, stressed, and overanalyzing the situation. So this could be someone who constantly reads the text messages that you send them or um, listens to a voicemail that you left them. They may even go on your social media and see what you're up to. I feel like this person was dodging you at first. They were playing dumb about something that you wanted to discuss or something you wanted to talk about or get some answers to. I feel like this is someone who's always switching up on you and you want to know why. Like why one minute you want to be bothered with me and then the next minute you're pushing me away. Well, we have phone call here, sudden shift. and pre Oh yeah, you're not going to let this go though. When you talk to this person, we have pressing matters here. It says your current reality is shifting towards something very different from what you had anticipated. 
expression of interest, wanting to talk, communication is key. So you're going to get communication from someone that you've been waiting on. And we have a pressing problem, need or issue has to be dealt with immediately. So the universe is saying, don't let this person get away with not wanting to talk about this. Even if they feel like you're always starting drama or this person may be like, oh my God, every time I talk to you, you know, we can never just have a good conversation where we're fine and we're happy because there's something on your mind. There's something on your heart. You're feeling some, some sort of way about this person, Pisces. And you're like, no, I need to know what you feel about me, what you're thinking, what you feel about this connection before you move any further. You don't even feel comfortable being yourself or um, letting your emotions show when it comes to them. I feel like you love this person so much, but you're like, I don't even feel comfortable showing you that I love you because you feel like they're going to take advantage. So someone is going to let you know that they still love you by calling you up and wanting to talk about something. We have magic prayer. Your prayers will be answered. Speak your intentions and the universe will provide your heart's desire. We also have stop and reassess. You need more information about the situation in order to make the right decision. Look into it further and pay attention to the details. And we also have stalking. I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. And we have venting about you. So this person may be talking about you to someone else. I don't know, though. I don't feel like it's bad. I feel like they may be telling someone that they love you, but you guys are always arguing and they don't know whether to just let it go or try to make it work with you. So just know that this person is not, you know, sitting back, acting like they don't care about you. They, they actually do care about you and they're talking about you to someone possibly getting advice or just telling someone that they trust and confide in about what you guys are going through and getting this person's you know point of view getting their advice trying to see what moves they should make or if they should make any moves at all all right so let's jump into some tarot and see what else the universe is wanting you to look out for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? What is their person feeling and thinking but not saying to them? What did Pisces look? Oh, give me a second. That card just flipped right on the floor. It's a page of cups. Okay. So the card that fell on the floor is the page of cups. So there is a love offer coming in there is definitely communication as i stated before in the message cards with this eight of wands some of you this person lives at a distance this is an online relationship for some of you you may have to travel to see them and this may be something that bothers you about the situation that you haven't met this person yet or it's like you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes because you can only go by what they tell you and it's causing you to be the nine of wands it's causing you to be guarded and to hold back until this person puts more effort into the situation, Pisces. And we also have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords. Oh, yeah, definitely somebody's watching you. There's messages that are about to come in from someone who feels bad about how they treated you. It could be a fire sign. We have the King of Wands here, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Now, we also have all of these pages here. So there's something telling me that... Um, some of you may be dealing with someone who um, who is younger than you, or maybe you feel like this person is just immature, even if they're not younger. But pages are messengers. So get ready for some sort of message that's coming in um, if it hasn't come in already. And this was from someone who left you out in the cold. So we have a younger Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have all three pages here. The only page that you don't have is the page of pentacles. Okay. You also have the two of cups. So I might as well just go ahead and take it out. There could be an um, air sign or a water sign. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Some of you are dealing with the king of pentacles, the king of cups, or the king of swords. And we have the two of cups here for you. So take it how it resonates here. There's three kings. Some of you may be dealing with all three people. But with this two of cups here, there's someone that sees you as a soulmate. 
If you're dealing with the King of Swords, Pisces, they see you as a soulmate. If you're dealing with another water sign or another um, or a earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they see you as a soulmate. I don't see this person going away. I see this person wanting to make things work with you. After going through this tower moment with them, you guys are going to get back on track here because this is someone who's learning with the five of swords reversed to come out of their ego and compromise with you. But the universe is saying, trust your intuition when it comes to this person, whatever is happening around you, whatever your gut feeling is telling you, trust it because this person could be hiding their feelings or hiding something. But whatever it is, I feel like you're going to get to the bottom of it because this is your energy coming out here with the high priestess. Yeah, we have the nine of swords, the moon. Somebody is thinking about you a lot when they go to sleep at night. They're ready for a reunion with the three of cups and the hermit. It's just like they're not talking but i thought like this person is sort of asking themselves should i just go ahead and reach out because they're not giving up on this with the seven of pentacles they feel like they've invested too much into this or into yeah they feel like they've invested too much into this connection i do feel like pisces this is someone who was being manipulative and sort of making you wait to hear from them and I feel like it kind of backfired on them because they thought that they were going to hear from you first, like you were going to reach out to them. And when you didn't, I feel like it started to bother them. They started to wonder like what you were up to. Could be a Virgo here for some of you. So here's your offer with the Knight of Cups I'm coming in. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.